Hi, this is Akshay from Tech Binders, and in this video, we're gonna cover the next part of the quadcopter that is, how to do the interfacing and how to do the assembly of the quadcopter. So, in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to assemble different parts on the quadcopter, and after that, how to do the interfacing with the flight controller board, and at the last, how to program this flight controller board. So, without further delaying, let's get started in this video. So first thing first, how to connect your motors to your quadcopter. So here comes the first thing, how to connect your motors to your chassis. So you need to use the motors, the right motors, all the four should be of right size and then you need to connect it with the help of screw and bolts to this chassis. Repeat it for all the four motors and once your all the four motors are connected, connect your ESCs also, they should be of 30 ampere rating and if you have not watched my video on how to choose the ESC. There's a video in the description and also on the card, go and check that video out. Before connecting your flight controller to the chassis, you must notice that it is the arrow direction which is pointing to the straight. So this quad is an X orientation, so you should keep it as a straight and it should like uh, pointing away from you. And this is where you need to keep it in mind. And then you need to stitch it with the help of DST, a double sided tape. And then you need to stitch it. I have used this foam board so that it reduces the vibration and give me more stability when I'm flying this quad. So now moving on to the second thing. How to configure your manner in the right order and how to interface with the flight controller. I would recommend you to do the interfacing as I am doing otherwise you will be in trouble and your quad is not gonna fly. Once all the four motors and four ESCs are connected, now you need to connect the wires of these motors to your flight controller which is on the right side. Before connecting it, make ensure that these motors are in right orientation. So this is motor number one. This is motor number 2, this is motor number 3 and this is the last motor. So it's in a clockwise direction. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Keep these motors in this orientation otherwise you're gonna mess up with your quad settings and it's not gonna fly. The real reason why people are not able to fly even after doing everything right is that they are not looking at the orientation of these motors. This is motor number 1. This is the wire of second motor and here comes the third motor wire and this is last. Once in this orientation, you need to connect it to your flight controller. So you need to keep in mind that white is a signal wire, red is a positive and black is a negative. So the right way to connect is like this. Once it is connected, connect all the four motors in the same order. Once you have done that, it's pretty good. And now we are on to the next step. Now here comes the third thing which will complete around 50% of your work. That is how to connect your motors to your ESC in a right manner. So for connecting motors with the ESC, I will recommend you to have these bullet connectors. These connectors are known as bullet connectors. They are very useful, I'm gonna tell you in a moment. And I will not recommend you to do the connection as it is done here. Because it's very bad and it drains a lot of amount of energy also on this connection. And it's not pretty safe as these can touch at any time when you're flying this quad. And this motor is gonna stop and your quad is gonna fall down. So I would recommend you to use these bullet connectors which are pretty safe and which are very easy and convenient to change the direction. Suppose this motor is moving in a clockwise direction and you find that it is in wrong direction, it should move in anti-clockwise direction. Just swap your bullet connectors, two of your bullet connectors and it will be in the right direction. But as you can see here, in this case, it's not possible. You need to desolder it, then again do the soldering, which takes a lot of time and a lot of energy, which is not pretty much good when you're considering this quad. I'm gonna tell you how to connect your ESC. So there are three wires in the ESC and three wires in the motor. So let me tell you, this is the signal wire, this is a positive and this is a negative wire. Well, in case of ESC, there is no description of the wires. All wires are a blue color or a similar color. So you need to connect all these three to your motors and you will find that your motors will rotate in pretty one direction. It can be clockwise or it can be counterclockwise. To change the direction, you need to set any of these two wires. It can be any wire, it can be these two wires, it can be these two wires or it can be these two wires and you will find that motor rotates in either direction. I would not recommend you to solder simply because you can see that this is what happens if you use a soldering and solder it without using bullet connector and this is the pretty much scenario. This is in the flight duration. So it got desoldered in the flight duration and I have just managed to do the crash landing and it has saved my quad. So I think I have given you a clear picture of how to connect these motors and how to connect the ESC. Now here comes very important part. So you can see the motor layout in the screen and let me tell you also what this means. So this is first motor, it should be in clockwise direction. This is motor number two, it should be in anti-clockwise direction. 
This is motor number three. It should be in clockwise direction. This is motor number four. It should be in anti-clockwise direction. Second and fourth should be in anti-clock. First and third should be in clockwise direction. Once you have done all the three steps, you have completed around 50% of your work. So now moving on to the next thing. The next thing is how to connect your flight controller to your receivers and how to interface it. So now comes here the important part: how to connect your flight controller output to your transceiver. So let me tell you, I am using this flight controller. This is FS36B uh, basic flight controller. First, you can see that it's having a three-pin output. This one is negative. This one is positive, and the inside one is signal pin. So always keep in mind the inside from this side or from this side will always be a signal pin. So the pin which is nearer to your screen will be a signal pin in both the cases. I want to tell you that this one is signal pin. The middle one is a positive one. And the last one is negative. So you need to connect your wires in this accordance only. So for channel one, we need to connect this channel one. So here comes the blue wire, which is a signal wire, and you can see on your screen that it is connecting to the inner side of the pin, which is a signal wire. The second wire is a green wire, which is a positive wire, and you can see that it is connected at the middle, which means that it's a positive wire. The last one, the outer wire, is a negative wire and is connected at the outside. And the next connection, you will see that there is no positive or negative wires connected to all these terminals. It is because that you are powering the transceiver once, and it is sufficient. You need not to again power your transceiver by using this flight controller. So once you have connected these all three wires, it is sufficient. And for the next four wires, you need to connect only the signal pin in according. So this goes in channel number two. This in channel number three. This is channel number four. And this is the last one, which is known as auxiliary. If you want, you can connect. It has a lot of benefits, which I'm gonna tell you later in this video. So you can connect this to your channel number five, which makes your interfacing complete. Now you can sit and relax. Once you've completed this, you have completed around 80% of your work. The second last thing in this video is how to connect your propellers in a right order. I have already told you that propellers comes in pairs, and you can see here what is written is that. 1045 into r i have already told these specifications once again i am telling you 10 is the length of the propeller 45 is 4.5 which means it's a pitch so in one revolution it can lift to 4.5 inches if it is given r then to connect it to your clockwise motor here you can read it is 10 into 4.5 and no r which means that you need to connect it in the anti clockwise motor here also you can see that it's 10 into 4.5 into r so you need to connect in clockwise direction For here, you need to connect in 10 into 4.5. I hope it can be visible to your screen. It is 10 into 4.5. So, you need to connect it in this manner. Clockwise motor should have R propellers. Anti-clockwise motor should not have R propellers. This should have simple propellers. Well, these two comes in pairs. So, one R and one simple propeller will come in pair. Similarly, for this case also. So, you need not to worry about it. You will get it in your packet if you buy it. So I hope you like this video, and if you have not subscribed yet, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you can receive latest notification when I upload new videos. So the next video will be all about in the real scenario that how to take off your quadcopter, how to do the landing, and how to control with your transceiver. If you are facing any issue or query, you can simply drop it in the comment section below, and I will answer it. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day, and this is Akshay signing off. So stay tuned and watch Tech Binders.